Let's hear from Mr. Dance himself. Right? Good morning. Uh, pleasure to see you. Pleasure to be here. Uh, I'm going to do my uh, motor mouth thing because I've only got 15 minutes. I've got a lot of ground to cover. Uh, we'll be able to engage in some dialogue a little later. The uh, title of uh, my presentation, as you know from the materials, is Cleveland in Transition. Transition from what to what? Transition from the old to the new economy. Cleveland is in the position of moving from having been a rock star in the old economy to becoming one in the new economy. A bold, ambitious statement, overly ambitious, I suggest not. Uh, what we're doing it in any number of ways. The primary part of my presentation is going to be about the Medical Mart Project, because while I have been asked why is there so much fault or all about a super drugstore, uh, the Medical Mart is not a super drugstore. It is nothing short of one of our first major entrees into commercializing something that we are very, very successful at, have a world-renowned reputation at, and turning it into economic development, uh, jobs, uh, uh, visitors to Cleveland, and that is capitalizing on our excellence in the healthcare professions. I'd like to uh, use a uh, slide presentation. I'm not going to dwell on each slide, uh, but to give you an idea of why there has been so much um, investment in and interest in this Medical Mart uh, initiative and what it represents in terms of capitalizing on a strength in our economy that already exists. We are indeed at a crossroads. We all know the story about uh, what's going on with industrial manufacturing uh, and while we are in fact improving with high technology manufacturing and, and keeping very competitive, in terms of employment, um, the employment is actually down in manufacturing. It, it's funny, I think back when I was a kid, we watched uh, the Jetsons and we heard that automation was going to change everything and eliminate jobs. Well, by another name, uh, technology, it's happening. So we have to move in the direction of not only being competitive, but also having industries uh, and professions that are going to employ our people. Healthcare by dint of simple, Demographics, the aging of the baby boom population, the increase in technology, the fact that many technological breakthroughs are happening as a result of uh, research and development activities in the healthcare sector, and uh, the fact that resources are available to uh, extend, uh, to support that research, the extension of life, it is in inevitable that as an affluent country like ours continues to mature, healthcare is going to be one of the primary activities. Bioscience, same thing. You may not be aware of the fact that Cleveland, Ohio is a national hotspot for bioscience company development, the development of new biotech and biomedical uh, based companies. We're going to talk more about that in just a second. So, uh, gee, uh, can we get a vote on this question? <laughs> what we're going to do, of course, is, as I mentioned, work on transitioning to the new economy, the medical mark will be a catalyst for accomplishing that. So here are the criteria, you can see them for yourselves, and that describe sort of the old versus the new economy. The new economy, why don't we focus upon? It's got to be dynamic, got to be based upon innovation and technology, it's got to be based on uh, quality, and uh, the nature of employment is necessarily risky because the rate of change in technological based industries is uh, enough to make your uh, head spin. So you've got to be flexible to respond to it. But where are we now? What does the Cleveland, and let me get this out of the way, when I say Cleveland, I mean the region. We're going to talk more about that later. But you know, whether we want to look at ourselves as one, uh, the rest of the world does, as a unit, Northeast Ohio competes with other regions of the world. So when I say Cleveland, I mean Northeast Ohio. So what is one of the things Cleveland is best at? Well, the hospitals in this region are amongst the largest employers in every county in Northeast Ohio. Cuyahoga County's largest uh, and second largest employers are the two hospital systems, the Cleveland Clinic and University Hospital. We all know that they are nationally ranked in different specialties. They are among the top hospitals 
in the country, and indeed if there were such rankings, it would be in the world. And something I didn't really fully appreciate until I got involved in this process, our hospitals are among the largest purchasers of medical products in the country already. Because we have these state-of-the-art, cutting-edge hospitals, they buy the latest devices, they buy the latest technology. And there are many, many people from other hospital systems from around the world who come to Cleveland, Ohio already to see those things, because sometimes they're relatively large investments, to see them in use, to see how they work so that they can decide. Cleveland is already a mecca attracting others in the healthcare industry who want to see how our hospitals are doing things. The economic impact of the hospitals in Northeast Ohio, you can see for yourself. There's the direct spend and the indirect spend. We're talking many billions of dollars. In terms of uh, the bioscience, uh, there are 400 plus bioscience science entities in Northeast Ohio. That's medical devices and medical equipment companies dominate that. Uh, the Northeast Ohio companies, this slide is from 2007, so the numbers are even bigger now, uh, took in $200 million in venture capital investment in the first half of 2007. Do you think venture capitalists are investing in Cleveland, Ohio out of civic pride, civic interest? I think not. There's something going on here that the market says people outside of the Cleveland region want to invest in this in Cleveland, Ohio. Indeed, over the past, I don't know if you're familiar with BioEnterprise. BioEnterprise is a business incubator for bioscience, biomed companies. We started here in Cleveland about five years ago, and it has been wildly successful. It has attracted about, at this point, a half a billion dollars in outside venture capital investment in startup companies here in Cleveland, Ohio. Again, a tie to and confirmation of the fact that the marketplace tells us there's something special about healthcare and biomed and bioscience in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, you can see that uh, in the Midwest, where we are located, the uh, best in class has been Minneapolis. Again, this is a 2007 slide. We've gained even more ground down there uh, from a standing start in terms of the biomed uh, as of five years ago. Another uh, indication of uh, where the action is, of course, is where the National Institute of Health funds the research. And surprisingly, perhaps to some of you, consistent with Stewart's comment, Ohio is 10th in the country, uh, and Ohio is second in the Midwest for NIH funding. You can see that our NIH funding exceeds the national average, and of course, Northeast Ohio leads the state of Ohio. Again, it's funny how sometimes we need outside validation to believe we're doing something well. The government, the federal government, that's going to put these tax dollars where they're going to best be utilized to get bang for the buck is investing in research in Northeast Ohio disproportionately to other parts of the state and the state of Ohio disproportionately to other parts of the country.